Hey guys, it is a little bit later and I just finished The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas. Again, thoroughly enjoyed this. Gave it a four stars. And I still stand by what I said back when I read it a while ago. Reminds me of Harry Potter. Set in a school setting. Magic's involved. The elemental magic is involved. Wands. All sorts of stuff. Spells are included in this so and this our main character is a lightning mage and she's trying to control the other elements as well so this was thoroughly good i'm going to lock my points onto the spreadsheet in a little bit but since i finished this, I don't know what I'm going to go into next, but um, that is it for this week's reading vlog, but I'm going to go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a rain cloud emoji because it's been off and on raining for the last couple days, but I will pick up next week's vlog where I figure out what I'm going to start off with. So I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's weekly reading vlog. It is later in the day and I ended last week's vlog and it's uploading to YouTube if it's not already uploaded, which it should be. It is 5.09 p.m. on Monday and it's 510. I have started The Prillious Sea by Sherry Thomas. This is the sequel to The Burning Skies which I finished in last week's vlog and this one takes place pretty much where the last one leaves off so I can't say too much so it's gonna be spoiler free like all of my vlogs are spoiler free reading vlogs and this week, I think I'm going to take the time to read this and the third book in this series so I can get it finished and off my shelf. And if I have time this week, I will read a, another book. But those are my plans as of now. I'm not very far in to this book at all. I'm on chapter 4, page 29. So, not far into this. So I'm going to continue reading. I'm watching Pokemon. So for now it's this book. And then once I finish that, it's going to be get it. Ugh. Immortal Heights by Sherry Thomas, which is the third book. So I'm excited to see where this goes and it looks like dragons are involved. So I'm excited to um, see where this story goes. I did enjoy the first set book with the magical setting and everything. So this is the first book, Burning Skies, which I finished off in last week's vlog. So it's the first book of September. So we're going with book two. I'm going to continue reading this and update you guys as I go and yeah we'll see what I rate this book I did the first one four stars so we'll see about this one but I'm gonna go and I will update you guys when I have thoughts and opinions on the second book hey guys so it is roughly about 8 o'clock, it is 7.50 p.m. on Monday, and I think I'm going to call it the reading today. I did start the Coralius C by Sherry Thomas, this is a sequel. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't say too much because it is a sequel to The Burning Skies. What we do get, it looks like two 
timelines. We have England and then we have the Sahara Desert timeline going on in here. It's a little confusing right now. I'm on chapter 10, but we're still following our same characters. We're following in England. They're set at the school and the Sahara Desert. It's just our two main characters at this point. So eventually we'll get to that explanation. I'm on chapter 10. Right now, page 105. So I'm liking it and I'm gonna give my eyes a break because I've been reading all afternoon. So, um, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Amazon Fire is on my bed over there on my pillow. I think I'm going to finish this video that I'm watching and then curl up on my bed with that and watch some of Jitsuka Kaisen tonight or maybe Yona of the Dawn, one of the two. And that's going to be my the rest of the night because I am quite tired. I do have work tomorrow, so there's that. But I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. And definitely update you guys tomorrow. But I am liking this. I'm glad I went straight into the sequel. So, and then I'm possibly going to go straight into the third book and get my library books read and out of the way for today. I am going to the library in the morning when they open. I'm going to return the three that I have here. And then, whoopsie, I'm going to return these three. And then pick up my hold, which I'm hoping is the sequel to this. If it is, I'm, I'm going to be excited about it. No, it's the third book. Darn. Okay. I'm still going to wait for a touch of Rin. I'm getting tomorrow a touch of Malice, which is book three. So I have to wait till I get the sequel. I don't know what I'm going to do, so, yeah, and I know I won't be able to renew the sequel, the third book. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, so, I'm returning those, picking up the book, and then, that's it, and I'm going to probably come home, wait till my nephew goes home, and then read for the night. And see how many pages of the pearly sea I can read. But I've been rambling, so I'm gonna go and I will update you guys tomorrow when I have a reading update. Hey guys, good evening ish. It is almost 6 p.m. Work is done for the day, it's actually 5.55 right now. And yeah, I've got a few things I have to do later after I eat dinner and then I can just sit and read for the rest of the night. My goal, the, the pearliest C is to get to chapter 20. So, and if I still feel like reading, I will read more of this. So, there's that. I did go to the library today. I returned a bunch of books. I did return that first book. I finished it. I don't need to hold on to it. These are due back the 13th, which I have a while to read. I did pick up my hold, which is A Touch of Malice. A Touch of Malice by Scarlet St. Clair. This is the third book, so I have to wait until book two comes out, which is A Touch of Ruin. And I was, yes, Touch of Ruin. And there was a a little bit of a wait for that. I should have waited to put this on hold. And the last book just came out, Touch of Gods, which this, that book is huge. I saw it at the library today. Wow, it's huge. So I got this one. I have to wait till the second one comes in. Hopefully it comes in soon so I can read this. 
so I can't go too much into this one without spoiling myself. So, that aside, I did find this romance in here. It's bracketed as romance, and I know nothing about it. And I think I saw this on Destiny Sidwell's Fall TBR. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Happy Median by Sarah Adler. This is the same person who wrote Mrs. Nash's Ashes, which I've never read from this author before. So, it says, a clever con artist must convince a skeptical, sexy farmer of his property resident, real life ghost if she is to save them all from fate worse than death. So, it's interesting. This is, I think, she's fake at being she's a medi medium, and she finds out she can actually talk to ghosts later on, so I think it would be perfect for fall time. It's got a little cow on it, and a little ghost coming out of the chimney, so I saw this at the library, and I thought I'd give this author a shot with this one, and the author from Love Light Farms just blurred to this on the back, so, and it's set in... 1920s so going to find out if I like this author if I do I will read more from her I will read Mrs. Nash's Ashes and her other novels hopefully but the cover the cover caught my eye so I'm like why not try this so I got this one it's the perfect alchemy of romance humor and a quickly or originality so what one of the authors said on the front cover so that's what I got and I'm going to add this to my fall TBR so that was the library haul hopefully I will have more books to pick up later this week so I can read the second book to this third book I'm not even going to read the back so but yeah today's plan is to get to chapter 20 in this book and then do my other little things that I have to do today and then just chill for the night. I did charge my Kindle last night so I can um, watch more anime later tonight which I'm gonna do as well so but I'm gonna go I've been rambling and I will talk to you guys when I have a reading update. Hey guys, work is done for the day. It's 5.47 p.m. on Wednesday. And while my nephew is napping, I got quite a bit of stuff done. I need to swap some laundry. Just realized I have to swap laundry. So um, I will do that as soon as my brother opens his door. But um, I did manage to read a little bit of this while he was napping, I got to, excuse me, chapter 14, page 156. So I got a few more chapters right. I'm going to read more of this tonight. Did not read last night. So I'm going to read tonight instead. And um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. My Right now it's sitting at a three star read. So we'll see what the rest of the book that does. I need to film my fall TBR, which is hefty. It's it's hefty. So um, there's a lot of books. I've got a pile of books on my bed. I got a pile of books. I don't know if you can see behind me right over there. All of those are on my fall TBR. I also have a pile on my bed, which you guys can't see. But those are on my fall TBR. I have some new releases that haven't come out yet that are also on my fall TBR. So it's a hefty fall TBR. And I have September, October, November to read them. If I get to them all. We shall see. But I'm going to also concentrate on finishing some series as well the next couple months 
So that'll be a good start. And we're going to go from there. But I'm going to read some more of this. And go from there. I don't know what else I'm going to do. I might watch a Tinkerbell movie. Who knows? But I will log, read, and I will update you guys when I have new thoughts on this book. Um, but yeah, so far, can't say too much, but a twist. There's something in here that took a turn, and um, our main characters have to figure it out. So that's it. Our main character is still portraying to be a boy and yeah the romance between our two main characters also have started so there's that tension growing and yeah gonna continue reading this but like I said we have dual timelines we have them in England and them in the Sahiria is this Siberia Desert? Siberia Desert. Hold on. Siberia. S A H A R A Desert. I know I'm mispronouncing that wrong, but those are the two dual timelines that we get in this book. So, England is when they're at the school. The desert portion is just our two main characters, the prince and. I so, so that's all for now. But I'm gonna go read, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Excuse the diapers that are right there. Um, I have, didn't move them up before updating this clip. There you go. There you go. But um, hey guys. Last night, I read a little bit of The Perlius Sea by Sherry Thomas. Not too much. I did not even read 100 pages. I got to page 176. My goal for today in this book is to get to page, chapter 27, page 300, basically, which is 299. So, um, that's my goal is to get to page 300 today and then finish this off tomorrow that way I can cross this book off my list now I did get I went to Barnes I got a book for a book club I have to go get another book but I have to wait till I get paid again and um I still need to get Daydream which I will get when I get paid because that's Destiny Sidwell's book club for her this month of September, which I had a feeling it was going to be. And the one I went and got today was for a different book club. And then I have two others that I already owned, so I didn't have to worry about. But I have Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I've heard amazing things about this. I know nothing about this all I know is it sounds a girl our main character Tress has known on her island home in the emerald green ocean has been a simple one with simple pleasures of collecting cups brought by the sailors from faraway lands and listening to stories told by her friend Charlie but when her father takes him on a voyage to find a bride and disaster strikes Tress must stow away on his ship and seek the sorceress of the deadly midnight sea aimed to spore oceans where pirates abound and Tess can leave her simple life behind and make her own sailing sea where a single drop of water can mean instant death. Ooh. Okay. That was what was on the back. I cannot wait to read this. I've been lately getting into cozy fantasy, and that's what this is. It was in the section of Barnes & Noble. So, and in that section, I want to go buy 
that's just in lattes so I can reread that and I want to get something called the honey witch if you heard of it let me know down below but I am so excited to start this oh these part pages are amazing oh I did not uh I wish this was sprayed edges for this and pages oh my Oh my god, this book. Let's just hope the story is also crazy. Is there a map? Darn, there's no way. Is there no map? Brandon Sanderson. So I'm excited to read this. So, um, yeah. The standalone novel by Brandon Sanderson. I have read from Brandon Sanderson before and he did not disappoint. So I'm excited to start this. I also have A Tempest of Tea for another book club and then two book clubs are reading the same book which is The Serpent in the Wings of Night. And I have that. So perfect for me. I already own two. I still have to get Daydream like I said. But I will get Daydream, and that's probably going to be a quick, easy romance to read to break up all this fantasy that I'm diving back into. But now that work is done, I am going to sit here and read some of this tonight. But part of me wants to start this now that I have my hands on it. I did cancel my hold from the library, so there's that. But part of me wants to start this now. So, I have a lot of library, a lot of book club books to read this month, and I cannot wait. If I start it, I'm probably going to want to get to page 100 tonight, maybe. That's chapter 20. Even the chapter headings are gorgeous. Uh, I just hope this book holds up because it's pirates, and I love a good pirate book. Neil Gaiman blurb this an original fairy tale that will delight fans of William Golden's The Princess Bride and Neil Gaiman's The Stardust oh it's bookless blurb so I've read both of those books loved both of those books I've been rambling so I'm gonna go read since I'm eager to start this one I will probably start this one first and then go to this one. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll update you guys. We'll know in a little bit. But I'm going to go. Stop rambling. And I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys. So it is Friday. Work is done for the day. It's 5.42 p.m. So it's been a day. So I'm going to try and read as much of this as possible today, tonight, and hopefully finish this off tomorrow. That way I can get extra points for my team. I need to film my fall TBR, so I need, still need to film that. I haven't filmed that yet. Hoping to film that at some point tonight so I can get that uploaded tonight, hopefully. If it won't be up tonight, then it'll be up tomorrow. Um, and then my next week, you'll see my vlog and my summer book haul. So there's quite a few hefty books in that summer book haul. I'll have to go back to my reading journal and figure out this handy little thing and figure out what I bought in June, July, August. I already know I bought one book, so... But June and July, pretty much all the books I haven't hauled yet in a video. I know I've hauled most of them in reading vlogs, but I haven't actually did a book haul, done a book haul in a while. So I'm going to haul all of those. Luckily I write pretty much every book down that I buy. So... That's going to be next week's video, minus the vlog, so 
Yeah, August I only bought one book. So in June, July I bought eight books. July. And then June bought ten. I think I haven't shown you guys anything for September. Not September, um, May. May was a pretty hefty haul as well, so, um, I'll go from May to August and for you guys to show you all the books that I have bought recently I know I know I showed them in vlogs but um yeah so I did read a little bit of this last night not much um I got to page 190 so I did not get my 300 page goal that I wanted to do last night so I got really tired so that's going to be today's goal to get to page 300 and then if I'm still in the mood to read then continue with this I can finish this tonight that'll be great that's my plan if not then i'll finish it tomorrow morning when i get up so i have, don't think i have anything planned tomorrow other than my friend and i doing a little bit of raids but that's it i think so tomorrow's plan will be to chug with tress of the emerald sea by brandon sanderson so that's what i'm going to start next i think give this series a break before I go into the third book, final book. So, but yeah, this is my next read. So I'm excited to read this. So, that'll be in my fall book haul. So any books I get September, October, November, December, no, September, October, and November will be in my fall book haul. So, for today, is this I'm going to go because I've been rambling, and I will catch you guys when I have an update. I'm going to watch some YouTube for a little bit, unwind, and then I'm going to sit and relax for a while. So, I'll talk to you guys when I have an update. Hey guys, it's Saturday. It is almost 1 p.m. So, I have been reading The Pearly of Sea. I'm going to try and finish this today because I haven't read in the last two days, I want to say. I didn't read Friday and I did not read Thursday. Or Wednesday, I don't think. Wow. So, um, yeah, fine. I'm going to try and finish this today. <clears throat> I'm on chapter 20, page 222 right now of this book, and I'm liking it still, so um, I'm watching an old video of Sarah's on my projector, which I'll show you guys in a minute, but um, yeah, I just have her paused on my projector, it's a rainy day outside today, so that's nice. I did upload my fall TBR this morning, so that should be up by the time you guys see this vlog on Monday, so that should be up. So I'm going to read more of this because it's getting good. I'm about halfway through, that way I can log in some points for my team that I'm doing a readathon for the whole month of... September on Instagram, so excited to continue this. After this, I am going to start Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. Going to start that today at some point, hopefully. And then I have plans tomorrow for a little bit with friends, so that should be fun. But, um... Right now, it's just going to be a stay inside, chill kind of day. But I'll update you guys 
when I get to page 300, which will be soon in this, and then hopefully I'll update you guys again when I finish this book. So, but no, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys when I see you. Hey guys, so it is much later, it's 4.50, and I just finished the Coralius Sea by Sherry Thomas. I really enjoyed the ending. I liked how it finally came together, how we were getting the dual timelines. And I figured we would once we got to the end. So I think I'm going to give this a four stars. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to take a little break from the series before I read the third book. But need something in between series. So I'm going to take a break from this since I enjoyed it. And that third book is probably going to be war heavy, maybe. The way this one ended, minor spoiler. Um, but yeah, I think the third book is going to be a little bit war heavy. So, but again, I did thoroughly enjoy this. Four stars I have to do all the review stuff and everything on Goodreads and Fable. But I think I'm going to start Tress and the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson next. So, this book is 300 and something pages? Yeah, this is 365 pages. Wow. A Brandon Sanderson that's not over 500 pages. That's crazy. But I think I'm going to start Trust in the Emerald Sea next. And this will be my read for the night. We'll see how far this I get into. But I do need my computer to log everything in onto Goodreads. But I need my phone for Babel. And I'm going to start adding this on there as well. So... I'm going to do all that, start this book, and I'll update you guys later. Okay guys, it is 6.04, and I've started Tress as an Emerald Sea. I'm loving this so far. This follows our main character, Tress, and she is living on this island, and one day she finds out that her best friend is Duke's son and a uh, groundkeeper, and they leave the island, and they're gone for about a year, and they come back. And then Tress finds out that this is all the first couple chapters, so it's not any spoilers, that um, the Duke sent his son somewhere, not going to say where. And he adopted his nephew as his heir instead. And, um, yeah. So, now Tress is leaving the island and journey to find our main character name, whose name is Charlie. So, I'm loving this. It's a fast-paced read. I'm on chapter 11, page 55 which is crazy. So I'm going to continue reading this tonight, see how far in this I get before I fall asleep. And yeah, if I can finish this today slash tomorrow, that would be great. Again, I'm loving this. So I'm going to continue. Another thing about our main character is she has a fascination of collecting it. Um, teacups from anywhere. So, yeah, again, loving this. So, I'm gonna continue with that, and I'm gonna go. Okay, guys, so it's 8 37 p.m. on Saturday, and I'm calling it a night for reading. I read a lot today, I read almost about 400 pages today. So, um, I finished the last 226 pages of The Poorly Sea, and then I 
read ooh, over a hundred pages of Trust of the Emerald C. I just realized both books that I've read today have C in the title. I'm on page 141, chapter 26 in Tress of the Emerald Sea. So, this is so good. Did not think it was this fast paced, but holy crap. If I read any more tonight, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm done for the night. My eyes are getting tired. So, um, yeah, this book is really good. I'm loving it. So, we're at the point now where our main character is on a ship. And she has become one of the crew members. So, we're, we're there. And there is a deaf main character. So, that's really interesting to see about. So, that's pretty neat. Did not realize that going in. So, but yes, I am enjoying this one. I will most likely finish this off tomorrow, but for now, I'm really tired. I can't read anymore, so, but I'm loving this. This is probably going to be a five-star read, so don't be too surprised if this is a five stars when I finish this. It, it's just really good. So... <laughs> Yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go, and if you see me, you probably will see me tomorrow. You might not see me anymore tonight, but, um, yeah, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Sunday, it's almost 9 a.m., and today's plan is to read as much of this as I possibly can. I think I'm going out later this afternoon. I'm not sure. But if I do, I might try and finish this before then. If not, finish it when I get back. But this is today's plan. And figure out what I want to read this week. So. But, um. I'm going to watch some YouTube while I read. And then go from there but I'll update you guys most likely when I finish this because my thoughts are still the same as yesterday I am loving this book I read a little bit more last night before I fell asleep I got to page 152 so middle of the chapter but it's okay but I'm still thoroughly much loving this book so I'm going to go, and you'll see me, guys. You will see me again, most likely, when I finish Tress. So. Hey, guys. It is almost 6 p.m. I'm home from hanging with friends today for a couple hours. We did not stay the entire time. But we stayed a majority they stay for roughly about two hours, I want to say. Excuse me, I just took a shower. And I'm going to now sit and read as much of Tress as I possibly can. Again, still enjoying this. I did read a little bit of this before I left. I got to chapter 30. So, my goal would be to get to... Eh, if I could get to page 300, that would be great. Maybe try and finish it, since I have no other plans tonight. I'm just going to sit here and read for the rest of the night. And watch some YouTube. So, that's my plan for the rest of the night. I do need to film a video for next week. But, um, I'm probably going to do that on tomorrow or Tuesday so we'll see where the, how that goes it's going to be a summer book haul all the books I bought in the months summer months so yeah, it's going to be a lot of those I have read some of those books but not all of them so 
I'm going to do a collective book haul along with this week's vlog. That'll go up tomorrow. And then my book haul will be either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure yet. But, um, I'm going to go read some of my book, watch some YouTube, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm here to end this vlog. Sorry for the late ending, but I finished two books this week and started a third. And I loved everything that I read this week. I finished The Burning Skies by Sherry Thomas. I already returned that to the library. Gave that a four stars. I'm out of breath. Sorry about that. I also finished the sequel. Really is not sure, still not sure how to pronounce this title, but um, I finished this, also gave it a four stars. I just had to read the third book, the final book, which I might read this week. We shall see. And the book I am currently obsessing over right now, you'll see more in next week's vlog, is Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I am loving this one right now. I got to page chapter 40, page 121. So I'm excited to read more of this. Hopefully, finish this today. And yeah, that's everything I read this week. All fantasy. So it's fantasy heavy week. So, um, but let me know down below if you guys read any of these. I would love to know, hear your thoughts. Leave a fall emoji down below if you got this far. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.